Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and for a month or so of Dino, Trespasser is making its return. Because thanks to a keeping helping of help from the idiot over at Trescom, I always feel a little rude calling him that, but that is his chosen forum name. I've gotten Trespasser CE working the way I want it to, with all of the extra options enabled, so this should run pretty well. We're going to be playing through a map called Industrial Forest 3, which was a Christmas gift map that Draconosaurus made for Truscom back in 2017. I should also mention that unfortunately, Draconosaurus himself has decided to step away from Trespasser modding at this point, but with the amount of time and effort and the sheer number of maps he's put out, that's not really surprising that he might want to finally have a break from it all. Anyhow. Let's get in here. I've been meaning to do this map for a while, which is why we are starting with this one. Alright, so this is a winter map, and I'm not entirely sure why it's called Industrial Forest 3. As far as I know, there's no Industrial Forest 1 or 2. Let's see if we can hop in this bus. So, this is looking pretty decent. I finally got it so there's no pop-in or clipping or anything. And I have messed around with this map before, so I knew this was M16 was here. You can see we are properly attired for the winter, but it also means we can't see our help. Let's get away from this Jingle Bells before it gets copyright claimed. It's probably too late for that anyway. So it's nice to be back playing Trespasser. Again, I enjoy Trespasser, I just don't have a lot of patience for troubleshooting Trespasser, and it's a game that very much needs a lot of troubleshooting, which is why there are so many long periods where I'm not recording it. But we have a good batch of maps, and now that CE is working as intended, I intend to go through them. Not just for a month or so of Dino, but in general. Until I run into some kind of problem, and then we'll probably take a long break again. And yes, the next map for JPDS is still coming. I just played through part of it the other day. So I'm trying to map out the level just so I don't get lost, because there is a lot of empty sections of it. Okay, that's just a Triceratops down there. A Snow Triceratops. And a Giant Snowman. Alright, can we do anything with this? <laughs> just twist that arm upside down. Yep, that's Trespasser. Okay, so we can swing the boom. Uh, doesn't actually look like that'll reach anything, though. Oh. A raptor has arrived. A snow raptor. Which looks like it is going to kill the Triceratops. Alright. Looks like we've got another cheap lock here. So... M16, you need to tilt it quite a bit to line up the iron sights, and I think it is the same M16 that kind of jams against Anne's model, <laughs> so I'm trying to tilt it upward, but I think her uh, chest is getting in the way. Just lady problems. Alright, line that up. Wow, am I not hitting it, or is it just tough? There we go. Cheap lock. Well, it wasn't that cheap. It took a few bullets. Like an actual lock. Okay. What do we got in here? We got a basketball. Now, do we have to carry this around like it's System Shock 2? We got a FAMAS and radio. What's going on with this radio? Uh, apparently nothing. We got a pickaxe that is frozen to the ground. A shovel frozen to the ground a hockey stick, and a golf club. This shack is prepared for all seasons of sport. All right, we'll take the FAMAS. It, uh, you know, it looks kind of good from the side, but it's also definitely lower poly than other Trespasser custom guns. And, of course, the back looks kind of awful. Imagine trying to fire a FAMAS one-handed. 
with the magazine, like, rubbing against her wrist. Okay. So we do actually have an objective here. We're trying to get to an outpost that is dinosaur-free. But I guess we kind of have to find it. I don't know where it is. I do know that, I remember, we're going to want to save ammo for this because there is a dinosaur that I think we need to kill to finish the level. That was easy. Oh. Danger Jeep. That's why whenever you see a Jeep like that sticking out of the ground, you want to poke it with the barrel of the gun so it doesn't crush you. And thankfully, this is one of the maps that disables Anne's jump sounds, so I can bunny hop as much as I want without the constant hup, hup. I still have not learned the necessary amount of trespasser modding to mod in my own jump sounds. I feel like doing that just for one map, just because I think it would be a stupid bit. What was that sound? Are you... <laughs> it's injured and calling out for its friends. It's like... Not dead? Like, it's not all ragdolly. I, I think it's bled out. Oh. Talking about calling its friends here. Uh, yeah, so there's not really an iron sight on this FAMAS. There should be one on top of the carry handle, because the FAMAS is a terrible, terrible gun, and I love it. We're just going to ignore whatever bizarre thing is causing the raptors to scream in their death. Okay, another tent with nothing in it. Who are all these people who are snow camping out here? I'm still hearing thumping, so I think that's the Triceratops, but it should have died by now. Oh. I also have the, the AI range turned up, so, you know... We won't see dinosaurs just floating in place and then turning on when we get close. This Vamos is surprisingly effective. I hear another one behind me. There's something down there behind that bush. Triceratops wants to kill me, but it's stuck against this tree. Oh, we got another tent here with a cage. And a bayonet. I bet we can kill something with this. Oop. <laughs> Drops out on our head. If only I could slap it against the gun, it would combine. I don't think they've ever tried to do some kind of pseudo-crafting in a Trespasser map. I mean, they've had a couple puzzle things where it's like, you know, touch the gas can with the torch to light it, but not like, hey, hit this with this and it becomes a different gun with a knife attached to it. Also, I'm not really sure how you would, you know, hurt something with your bayonet. You'd have to just swing the gun around. <laughs> now, do I want to take this bayonet? Because it's obviously not going to be as effective as our gun. But I have no idea how much ammo this has. I couldn't remember, but yeah, CE doesn't have the option to just turn on a HUD at will. I think I could add a HUD if I wanted to. But, I mean, really the problem is that this gun doesn't seem to have her announcing how much ammo is left in it. Well, someone's certainly not a clever girl. Alright. A lot of tents in this map. Raptor. I think it's also fighting something. 
What do we got in here? There is Desert Eagle. The Black Desert Eagle. But I think it's just recolored from the regular one. Which means it has like seven shots. We'll remember that's there in case we use up all of our ammo. Now, if I had been standing on the side there, I would have instantly died. Well, that Triceratops was victorious. I'm just kind of following this trail of tents and Biosyn Jeeps. Oh, boy. <laughs> Saw my life flashing before my eyes there. So we've got some power lines here, which usually means they lead somewhere. we got a snow stego over here. It's like they're all using the alpine skins from Jurassic World Evolution. Do these even have eyes? Okay, it's just very small. See that tail wiggling down there. These raptors definitely don't have a lot of health. I didn't notice there was two behind me. Oh. Stegosaur is under attack. There's a lot of dinosaurs in this map. Just gonna keep using the FAMAS until it runs out of ammo. We still have the M16, so we don't have to conserve too much. All right, so let's follow this road and see where it leads us. But yeah, I like having a snow map. I think we've played one snow map before, but there's definitely not that many of them. Thought one of these was a gun, but it's just a femur. I'm surprised I hit him as many times as I did at that ranch. Oh no, I'm sinking. Yeah, squeeze back up here. Oh, no. Gotta be careful. Don't want to get crushed. In fact, now that I think about it, I should quick save. Is that F5? F6? F7? Is it F9? I don't remember what the quick save key is. It is enabled, I just don't... Oh, okay. It worked. It just didn't... I thought there was an indicator at the top left. <laughs> For a moment, that raptor was everywhere. Okay, can we get out of this ditch? It's kind of steep. <laughs> can you get out of that ditch? Oh, wow. A raptor actually managed to cross the bridge. Didn't do him much good, though. Now, I'm going to be a little disappointed if it turns out we're following this road back to the start of the map, and I should have gone the other way. I mean, it seems like we're mostly fenced in by valleys. Or rather, we're fenced in in a valley. <laughs> There's the click. Oh, great. <laughs> this thing is so hard for her to draw. It's a little easier to fire, though, even when it's diagonal like this. Again, she's bracing it against her chest.
with some god awful high school of the dead physics. Alright, so. We do seem to be coming up on. Oh, okay, yeah, we went backwards. I was gonna say, we seem to be coming up on something, but that's back where we started, which means we wanna follow the road the other way. So this map seems to be kind of a straight-ish line, or a wiggly long map. So I hope I'm not missing anything off to the sides. There is also a sequel to this map that is called Outpost, I believe. Industrial Outpost, or Winter Outpost, which we're going to be checking out as well. I wonder if Anne's voice lines are just disabled in this. And that's why we don't get ammo estimates at all. Because even for modded guns that have weird capacities, usually it's like, you know, they'll use the SMG lines of half full, almost gone. Raptor came bouncing down that hill. I mean, now I'm a little concerned about using ammo, just because we're down to one gun, that I have no idea how much ammo we have for. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Okay, fine. You could have just pretended you didn't see me. We could have gone our separate ways. I don't remember where that Desert Eagle is. It's over there somewhere. But I don't know if there's enough ammo in it to be worth going back for. Anything over here by this Jeep? Doesn't look like it. All right, so if we follow the power lines this way, it should actually lead us where we need to go now. I should probably figure out what the quick save key is because I don't actually know still. I'm gonna hit F5. Okay, it's not F5. Is it F7? No, it's not F7, so it must be F9. Okay, there we go. Just so I know for future CE maps. But yeah, the reason I didn't immediately go into doing uh, trails is because it's a huge map and it's less complete than the other JPDS maps were. So it means I could very much just wander into a big dead zone where there's not really anything going on. Which is why I wanted to kind of map it out, but it's big enough that I kind of got <laughs> discouraged while trying to map it the other day because I ran out of space on my notepad. But I have a general idea of where to go in it, so I think we'll just do it with the limited knowledge I have, instead of waiting for me to eventually decide to try remapping it with a bigger piece of paper. It is probably still going to take multiple episodes, though, because there is a key hunt built into it, where we have to find, like, 12 keys that are scattered around the map. I don't think I didn't see that hot shit head toss, Raptor, where it's stretched up into oblivion. Now, I'm wishing I had taken the trench knife. Or, not trench knife, that was a... Uh, was that an M9? I think an M9 is more modern than the knife we picked up there. I admit I don't know my bayonets off the top of my head. It looks familiar. Well, 
We got a different structure here. Looks like a bus stop. And something down there. Uh, I should take care of this raptor. Uh. He's compressed himself. There's a carno loose. Better not open the door to the outpost until that thing is dead. Alright. I'm glad there's a line for that because I wouldn't have guessed. So I assume this is the thing that they said we need to kill. Winter Carno. A little weird looking. The horns are kind of just flaps. But, uh... Oh, come on. Uh, I was hoping I could use one of those to conserve ammo. Okay, there's a lot of presents in here. I guess this is where they were hiding all of the outpost's presents. Kinda hoping the Arno would take care of the raptor for me. Any guns down here? Okay, gotta be careful. dead? No. He's just stretchy. Though I think the map might just immediately end when we kill it, so maybe we should look around over here first. Yeah, he's caught on a bush, so we've got time. Drapter's still here. So there's the wall. Maybe the map won't just end? It'll... You know, unlock the gate so we can push it open. Alright, yeah, I'm not seeing any other weapons around here, so... I guess that's all there is to it. Um, just gonna quick save and... Attempt to climb this ladder. No, I... I don't think this works. She's kind of sliding up it a little bit. Alright, you know what? Just stop. You're just being a nuisance. I mean, if we run out of ammo trying to kill this, I guess we could also go back and lead it to the stegosaurs or whatever. Oh boy. That is the, uh, the click you don't want to hear. Alright, so now we have a little bit of a problem, but we'll just have to backtrack and find a weapon. We either have to find that Desert Eagle, or we have to find the Bayonet. And again, can't check my health. You can see the little square, though, where <laughs> the texture for the heart would be. I think it's just going to go eat the raptor. I was hoping it would follow me, you know. So we could lead it. Can I really not take the shovel? It's not even really that buried in the snow. What are you doing over here? I want to throw the tire at it. Come on. You and me, we're going on a little adventure. I can't actually jump that quickly backwards, so <laughs> I can't just watch its progress. Come on. As long as I stay close enough to it, it shouldn't get distracted. So yeah, there's probably at least one 
like Easter egg area that I missed, but that's gonna happen with most of these trespasser maps. I'm not as thorough as maybe I should be. What, you getting tired? Come on now. All right, I believe the Stego should be around here. Oh. Now you're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> Trip. Uh oh. I'm a little caught. Now, can you get out of that gulch? I mean, that raptor seems to have also gotten itself caught underneath the bridge. Nope, come back. Yeah. There we go. Just reverse out of the ditch. This is like a reverse escort mission. We're trying to get him to follow us so we can kill him. Come on now, big boy. I should not have cut through there. He's gonna get stuck. Nope. Come back. I like that he's got, like, heel claws. The trees are not your friend. <laughs> Ow. I think I just got dead. <laughs> I got smushed by his mouth. All because I was going for a bit. Alright, well that's fine. So... We know we don't have enough ammo to kill him. Which means... We'll just do the same thing, but instead of leading him, we'll just go back and get a weapon. Because I'm pretty sure we can kill him with the knife. Assuming it works. You know, if it works as a melee weapon, it'll work to kill the Carnotaurus. Which means we might have to test it on a raptor. I do like the snow effect as well, you know, it's kind of as much as you can really do snow in Trespasser, but I wonder if it's going to kill the bitrate of the video. It shouldn't, since the background is also the same color. Okay, I believe the knife was past these stegos. Kind of over here somewhere. Because this was before we saw the power lines. Or was it over here? I mean, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll find another building with a gun in it. That would be handy. Okay, there's a tent... Here, is this the one with the deagle in it? Yes. Now, do I want to take the deagle and hope that's enough to finish off the Carno, or do I want to keep going and try to find the knife as well? Because, of course, a knife doesn't run out of ammo. Oh, uh, you know what? I completely forgot that we had an extra slot. Uh, what is it? Control-Shift-E? 
Yeah, so we actually do have a third slot <laughs> to pick up the knife. If I had remembered that, I would have, you know, put it on my belt. It's definitely over here somewhere, though. There it is. All right. We are sufficiently are I almost just stabbed myself in the leg. We are sufficiently armed, hopefully, to take on a Carnotaurus. I almost said Carnosaurus, but gotta remember that Taurus bit. Because of the bullhorns. Not that it really has bullhorns, but you know, it has horns. And so they assumed that it was like a bull. This map is weirdly peaceful, though. It's just very quiet, even with the stomping. And the constant sound of crows. I guess it's a... It's a good background forest noise. I thought I saw something floating, but it's just whatever these uh, snow cutoffs are. Me and my trusty, crusty bayonet. I was kind of thinking the other day of how viable it would be if I said, hey, let's have a Trespasser map contest, you know, for folks who have never made Trespasser maps before, take like a month and a half and see what you can put together, plus, you know, the folks at Trescom, but most of them don't make maps anymore, and somehow I doubt anyone among you is going to want to try and make a Trespasser map in a month and a half, but, you know, if I'm wrong, let me know. It would be a cool thing, even if we only got a couple maps, just to to see some new takes on it. I mean, I've seen, you know, other people do Doom mapping contests, which are always fun. You get some interesting stuff coming out of that, even from new folks to Doom mapping. But, of course, that's a lot uh, easier to do than learning to map Trespasser, which was never really mod-friendly. And, I mean, you know... The Trespasser modding tools were made by the community, not the developers, so... They kind of have to work with the limitations of building it from the outside. But it would be cool to see some new people's attempts at maps. Obviously, there's not been a lot of new blood in the Trespasser mapping community. For almost as long as I've been covering it. There's, you know, there's been... I think two or three people, you know, like Trespasser Guy, who I think also gave up on mapping recently. He released uh, his unfinished maps. But it's it's a very finicky beast, even just to get running. So obviously it's going to be harder once you're trying to make maps and you're coming up against all of the limitations of the engine and the mapping tools. Though there is a good amount of information on the Trescom site about, you know, how to... <laughs> Wow, that was really effective. About how to make maps. And Draconosaurus did a whole video series on using the tools. Alright. So let's give them all we got. One. Probably don't want to fire from a distance because ammo is limited. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, default ammo capacity. I really can't survive much damage from this guy. Alright, now the hard part. Can we kill it with a knife? The hard part is figuring out where to hit it, because the kind of damage centers for <laughs> melee weapons is very finicky on bigger dinosaurs. Some of them, you have to clip right through them to actually hit them. I'm 
getting stuck on something. Oop. Come on, grab the knife. Usually the head is the best bet, but his head's actually really tall and he's up on a bush. Come on, uh, I can't reach. <laughs> Come on, let me gut ya. Throwing it will work if the damage part of the knife actually hits him. Oh, fuck. I lost my knife. Considering how few weapons there seems to be in this level, it seems kind of odd to have a extra high health <laughs> Carnosaur at the end. Carnotaur. I, see, I'm, I keep reverting to sore. But there's no need for folks in the comments to get sore about it. Cam up. Yeah. Why are you so tall? Come on down. Definitely one of the more awkward large carnivores I've seen in a custom map. You know, I don't think this is working. I can't even get close to him to get a hit in. Yeah, I don't think this is a... Uh... It works against raptors, but it's not a suitable tool. <laughs> Well, for the task at hand. So I think we're going to have to go back to plan fight. Triceratops, I require your assistance. And I need you to come over here. I mean, the alternative is that I would have had to use the knife on all the raptors and save all three guns for this guy. Where are you going? He's got the trail of some- oh, no, now he's coming back. I think he went after a raptor. All right, this is perfect. Triceratops has got its... Oh. I was going to say, it's got its head in the right direction, so it might actually be able to hurt him. See, this thing just decimates raptors. But... Nah. I can't find his glowing weak point to poke him in. I can't tell which one of them hit the other. I think the Triceratops got hit. I need to get f far enough away that it stops coming after me and goes after the Triceratops. I'm betting on you, Trike. You won't die. Desert Eagle! Wow. Guess I'm not a betting man. Alright. You big bastard. He's eating her. Then he's going to eat me. Oh my god. Really? I didn't miss with any of those, I don't think. Also, it looks like... <laughs> I was gonna say, it looks like the damage spot is the top of his head. So this, uh, maybe was not the best considered thing. All they had to do was put a gun near the end of the level, so at least we had some extra damage in there. Because playing through this the first time, you definitely don't know that you're supposed to apparently save all of your ammo for this ungodly beast. I'm really hoping we'll get lucky with this knife, and I'll find a spot that will damage it. But yeah, I think the problem is its collision box is too big compared to where its actual, Ow. like, hit centers are. Ow. 
so the melee weapon is completely ineffective. Especially when you hit it with the hilt. I'm trying to think, have I ever actually damaged like a T-Rex or something in one of these levels by beating it in the head with something? Oh, come on, I really need you to follow me. I can't even get back up there. Come on. Uh. Meals on wheels, or just one big wheel. The way he's swinging around there, he's like, should I stay or should I go? This whole chase thing is getting kind of awkward. Okay, he's going to slip off the cliff. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Ow. Yep. Now I am trapped. By my own hubris. I'm trying to think, what else could I use to kill you? I could, like, if I hang out around this car, maybe he'll crush himself by touching it? <laughs> the things you need to do when forced to kill a dinosaur in Trespasser. I mean, wasn't there that one map where we got a bear to follow us until something else killed it? And it was called, like, Bear Cave? I'm following the sounds of eating. Because it will lead me to another living missile to fire at this guy. Come on. Quit rubbernecking and get over here. I'm literally standing still. Come on. <laughs> I never thought I would have this much trouble trying to get eaten in Trespasser. There is no way you're fitting through those trees, bud. Yep, there we go. Circling around. Ah, you made it. All right, Raptor. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, Raptor. It's you against him. Don't just share a meal. Come on. I can see the Raptor. He's getting territorial. There is a Stegosaur still alive over there. There we go. Well, I don't think the Stegosaur is going to be very helpful in this fight on account of it's stuck in a bush. Yeah, that's right. Go for the tail. Death by Raptor. Well, this is unfortunate. This is kind of the time where I wish that Trespasser had spawn code cheats. So at least when this didn't work, I could spawn in a gun and finish this off. But I don't think we have anything like that. Oh. I think he damaged himself there. I mean, I guess what I could do is reload the level and just, you know, grab the FAMAS and the M16 and just rush through so that we have both of those full for this guy. Because I think leading him around like this isn't going to work. So, let me uh, take a moment to 
reset the level, and we'll see if we can kill him with full firepower. Be right back in a jiff. Alright, so I've made it back, and I've conserved my ammo by only using the knife. Funny thing, it turns out that the game seems to think that the FAMAS is a light item, which is why I have it stored on my hip. Usually you can only carry pistols and whatnot on your hip slot. Also, this knife seems to be the most effective melee weapon I've seen in one of these levels. It's just a good stab like that, and they're done. Make a quick save, and uh, let's hose him down. He knows we're coming for him this time, he's trying to get away. I want to go for the head, because you do more damage. Oh man, that recoil pattern, where it starts just jamming up and down. I'm going to be very disappointed if this doesn't kill it. Is it dead? <laughs> it looks dead. Hard to say. It might have just tripped. I mean, it should still be making noise even if it's stuck. I need this raptor to do like the corpse test where it tries to eat this thing. I legitimately can't tell if it's dead. <laughs> It's too heavy for me to physics it out of the way. Alright, let's back away and see if the raptor goes for it. Come on. There's a maybe fresh corpse there. Just beeline straight for me. What if I hide here? What, what say you to that? <laughs> he knows he can't quite get to me. And crash. Alright, I guess this time let's kill it away from any objects so we can be certain if it's dead or not. And hopefully it won't crash. <laughs> I think the raptor intersecting into the Carno is what crashed it. I'm not sure if reloading is broken this AI. Nope, there we go. Okay, it is most definitely dead now. So that means the gate should be unlocked. <laughs> oh man. Like, I get the idea that it's like, okay, now we have a, a mandatory boss fight at the end of the level, but maybe just make it a little weaker or have a few more guns in the level? Instead of just, well, I hope you saved all of your ammo. And knew to expect this, but still. It's a neat little level. It's not too complicated. Um. Hmm. There we go. Okay, I thought I was going to have to look for a code. Um. Okay. Okay.
here it is. We've made it to the outpost, which uh, is not looking great. Kind of. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Uh, uh. I, I just wanted to see if the door would open, and instead it has consumed me. Okay, we're free. So I think we're going to hit the end of the level here. End of the road. There might not actually be an end trigger over here. Okay, yeah, now we're getting into weird texture zones, so I'm pretty sure the map is supposed to end right here. And then, the next map starts right here. But that'll do it for Industrial Force 3 and our first return to Trespasser. But I hope to have many more of these done within the next month or so. In case you're wondering how long that or so period goes, it's probably going to be like the 15th of July is when a month or so of Dino goes until. That way I can make sure I get everything finished that I wanted to do and there's no rush. But until next time, I've been Shadefire, this is Trespasser Custom Levels, and I hope you'll custom level with me again next time. Take care, everyone.